records in England of late have caused so much comment and excitement throughout the whole billiard world. I may say that I am more than pleased at Mr. Lindrum's success because I had the pleasure of teaching him the nursery cannon game myself whilst in Australia some years ago. Mr. Lindrum is here himself and will tell you a little of how these marvellous breaks are made. Mr. Walter Lindrum. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am very pleased to be in Dear Old London. For many years, I have wished to come to your wonderful country, and here I am at last. As Mr. Faulkner told you, when he came to Australia a few years ago, he showed me some points at the nursery cannon that I put into practice, and that is one of the reasons why I make so many thousand breaks. I will now try and show you some of the shots that go towards the building of my thousand breaks. My way of holding the cue. I hold it with the first finger and thumb and slightly balanced with the second finger, which causes a perfect wrist action, which means that the screw shots in billiards, which are played with the wrist, are most helpful. My way of making a bridge. Place the ball of the thumb perfectly firm on the table and bring the other two fingers out and there you have a perfect bridge. Place the ball of the thumb on the table firmly, bring the other two fingers out and there you have a perfect bridge. Of course, I'm using this bridge as a left-handed player, as I think most people know that I'm a left-handed billiard player. I think the backbone of the amateur's game is the in-off, knowing in billiards as the losing hazard. I will now show you the method that I use to reach the standard of red ball play that I have obtained with practice. First of all, I place the red ball on a spot. Then place five dotted rings just around. Then I go in off the red into the center pocket to bring the red ball back off the top cushion in between those spots. That gives a player the strength to play the shot always the same and not to vary. I will now show you how to make this stroke. To bring the red ball back, I use the top pockets for my next stroke they will leave the red ball in position. The drop cannon is the key to the top of the table position. I will play this track for you to leave the balls somewhere together at the top of the table.
This rate of scoring averages about five to six minutes a hundred. I will now try to bring the balls back for nursery cannon flight. Taking the balls around the corner of the pocket. I will now show you the shot that was used by Claude Faulkner that I first saw in Australia in 1924. It is known as the Rocker Cannon. On completion of 35 cannons, we must strike the cushion. And this I will show you how it's done. Question. Before I finish, I would like to play a cannon twice around the table and a positional screw shot 